man, have we got any older doctors in the audience? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm not falling for that. It used to be fun. When I first trained, medicine was an awful lot of fun. And patients used to say funny things and we used to laugh and there was no accountability. If you cocked up, you burnt the notes, you buried the x-rays, you laughed it off in the mess. <laughs> There was no bloody duty of candor or telling the truth. We didn't have to tell people we didn't have a bloody clue what we were doing. We were just winging it. We haven't got a clue, have we, really? Who works in the NHS and regularly wings it and makes stuff up and just bullshits? <laughs> you lying bastards. <laughs> we do that all the time. We do, what can we do in 10 minutes? You've got 10 minutes, somebody comes in and goes, I've got a little itch on the end of my nose and my toes going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Get a dog. I don't know. What do you do? We spend 80% of our time bullshitting in the NHS because we're doctors, we're supposed to know what we're talking about. But all of a sudden we have something called a duty of candor. We're probably, we've got to tell the truth to patients now. The truth that actually most of our drugs don't actually work. You're, you're better off with a hug, you're better off with a dog than most drugs. Most of them are pretty pointless. All we do is delay the inevitability of death. 